Hey guys, we're making half lap joints on the bandsaw today. Usually when you talk about half lap joints, you think about going to the table saw with the dado blade. That's still a great way to make half laps, but I want to show you a quick and easy way to make half lap joints at the bandsaw. Net result of the project will be a sturdy seat frame for a bar stool. We'll add some jute webbing on another day, and this will be ready for foam and upholstery. Stick around, check it out. So we've made the first cut for the half lap on the bandsaw and now we just need to cross cut it to remove the waste. So there's one easy way to make quick and very accurate half laps on the bandsaw. I can just feel a little bit of resistance the mating surfaces touching as I slide this joint together. Looks like we came up with a nice flush joint and when we glue these together we'll get automatically a square joint. We do know that half laps are one of the strongest joints in woodworking so it'll be perfect for a seat frame application. We'll get this glued up and then we'll notch the corners with a similar setup with the bandsaw. So even small half lap joints cut on the bandsaw form a very very strong joint. I glued up this sample that only has the one joint for support. These ends are open and even putting a clamp across the open ends with this long lever arm, it really resists a lot of racking force so it is a great joint for a seat frame. Okay, so we'll get the dust collector started and notch out these corners. Half lap joints are a strong and traditional way to join corners for seat frames. Add a little jute webbing and you've got a great base for the foam layers on your chair. Alright guys, so when the joints come out of the clamps, you'll have a nice sturdy seat frame that you can add jute webbing to. Try half laps of the bandsaw and see if it doesn't work for you. Thanks for watching.